going to look at a tricky electricity question through five different examples. So pause the video now and try all parts of these questions. So this is a really common style of AQA question, uh, but it could also come up in other exam boards as well. So we're asked to find the voltmeter reading here for this circuit. So uh, the way I always approach this, which, which I think is really, really simple, is just to imagine that you are an electron and you are going around the circuit. What are you going to experience? What is your change in uh, potential going to be? So you start with 12 volts of energy. So you can go around the circuit. If you go around the top branch, what's going to happen? You, you're going to uh, lose a potential difference here and you're also then going to lose the potential difference uh, here as well. So what's that going to be? It's in the ratio 1 to 2. We've got 12 volts. So this will be 4 volts and this will be 8 volts. If you go down the bottom one, it's reversed. We lose 8 volts here and we lose 4 volts here. So if you're an electron, you start with 12 volts, you go around the circuit this way, you're going to have 12, 12, 12, 12, you're going to lose 4, you're going to have 8, you're going to have 8, you're going to lose 8, you're going to have 0 volts this side. If you go around the bottom circuit, you're going to have 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, you're going to have 12 here, you're going to lose 8, so you're going to have 4 here, then you're going to have 4, then you're going to lose 4, you're going to have 0, until you go back to the battery. So that means you're going to have 4 volts here, you're going to have 8 volts here. So what's the difference between these two points? It's going to be 4 volts. And it's going to be, uh, you know, if, if you wanted to talk about a direction, it's going to be going down. You're going to have 8 here, 4 here, so 4. So we're going to do exactly the same idea here. Uh, in the top circuit, what is going to happen? Well, we, we would lose or we would have a potential difference across the first one here of uh, 4 volts and the, uh, the second one of 16 volts, and then if we go around the bottom way, 10 volts and 10 volts. So therefore, if I'm an electron, I'm going round, I'm going to have 16 volts at this point here, but I'm only going to have 10 volts here, so there's a difference of 6 volts, and again, more here, less here. In this circuit here, the number's a little bit more confusing, but the uh, idea is exactly the same. What's the potential difference across this one, across this one, across this one, across this one? So you might want to use the potential divider formula. So if we want to work out this V1, we could say that V1 equals 10 over 22 times by 10. So that is uh, R1 over R1 plus R2. times by V in, which is uh, 10 volts. Maybe we say this is V out. That is how it's, oh, sorry. That is how it's usually written on a uh, formula sheet. So that gives V1 as 4.6 volts, which means this one here is 5.4 volts. If we do exactly the same for the bottom, we end up with 0.63 volts and we end up with 9.38 volts. So again, what's our potential difference? Well, we have much more potential here than we have here. So it's gonna be 9.38 here minus uh, 5.4 here. So I'm just gonna put this in my calculator so I don't make any mistakes and we'll get a, a voltmeter reading of 3.98 volts. This time it would actually be going uh, up if we asked that direction in terms of positive and negative. So here they, they sometimes make things a bit more difficult. Uh, initially, this V is zero. We're then going to increase the resistance here. What happens? So if it's zero initially, then the initial resistance must be 40 ohms because then we've gone 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, 7.5, uh, but now the resistance is going to go up. So if the resistance of the variable resistor increases, the potential difference across it is also going to increase. It's going to have a greater share of the volts. Uh, so for example, instead of having 7.5 and 7.5, it might go to 10 and 5, right, just as an example. Uh, so therefore, there's going to be a difference. There's now going to be a potential difference between the two. So the voltmeter reading will increase. 
as well. And if they asked about a direction, well, we're having a greater share of the volts across this resistor here. So the potential is going to be lower here than it's going to be lower here. So, you know, the current is going to be flowing this way through the circuit. And then the final question, the bulbs have a power rating of 0.36 watts. What is the voltmeter reading? So we obviously need to work out the resistance of these two bulbs. So power is V squared over R. So R is V squared over power, which is 9 over 0.36, which is 25. I think it's 25. I'm just going to check. 25. So we've got 25 and we've got 25. So let's look at our potential differences. We've got a potential difference across here of 4 volts, across here of 2 volts, and across this one will be 3 volts and 3 volts. So we're going to have a difference of 1 volt. Uh, so the voltmeter reading is going to equal 1 volt. And again, the direction of the current, if we were asked that, would be up. Bulb B breaks. What happens to the other bulb and the voltmeter reading? So this one has broken, so we can ignore this one from the circuit. We can cross it out. So now we've got a current that's going to go this way. We've also got current that's going to go this way. We're going to try and go this way. Now, this is easy to make a mistake. So you might just want to you know, think, oh, this is going to get 6 volts. But hang on a second. A voltmeter has infinite resistance or it has close uh, to infinite resistance. So the voltmeter is going to get the biggest share of the volts, uh, and the uh, bulb is going to get basically zero volts, or very close to zero volts. And because there's such a high resistance here, uh, it's not going to read a current uh, at all. So there's going to be virtually no current at all, so the bulb uh, will go out, all right, because there's not enough current because the voltmeter has too high a resistance. Uh, what will the voltmeter reading be? Well, what are our potentials here at 6 volts, here at 6 volts, here we're at 2 volts, uh, here we're basically still at 6 volts, aren't we, because uh, the bulb is going to get close to zero volts. It might get, you know, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 volts, but it's close enough. Uh, so actually here, what is the difference between here and here? Uh, it now reads 4 volts, all right, because of the difference. 2 volts here, 6 volts here. Okay, if you did this in reality, it might be very slightly different. It might be like 3.9 or 3.8 or something, depending on the actual resistance of the voltmeter. Uh, but theoretically, it has infinite resistance, as we've said.